Oh, yes. Join. Uh, also, from what I ended up reading, he actually, um, he actually owns the thinking chair. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I could have it, I would. I would, too! He apparently owns the thinking chair, and I think on his Instagram, he showed it off a few times, even cleaning it. I, I think invited I, Riley. There's even a, a like a, a goofy story he once shared where oh. he said that his girlfriend at the time said, <laughs> I want to do it on the thinking chair, and he said to her, no, I don't think I want to do that because it feel like a thousands of it would feel like thousands of parents are watching me. <laughs> Which Gee. can you blame him? Should we wait for Vlad or Solar? Whoever's gonna get on? I I kind of like I, I like I kind of tapped them for a little bit to see what happens. Uh, Riley, oh yeah, Riley's already in. Wait, why is this team make like, this a free for all? Because it would. Unless we're all like willing to like bully the fuck out of Riley because of how many times he wins a Shaggy, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> it would be fun to kick his ass after um, you know all the times he keeps beating you guys and um, <laughs> in fucking yeah, better than Riley. Keep, yeah, because he keeps kicking our asses. All right, st who the hell is not strike? running at a hundred percent? All right, so Shaggy, um, I can't be the gr okay, so I can still be the Gremlin, um. I could still be the rain dog. Oh, I think the rotation hasn't changed yet, so you might have the same amount of the same characters from last time. Okay, like I don't know what, like I don't know how long the period is of the roster for whatever characters there are temporarily. I think it's two weeks. I could be wrong though. Hmm. All right. Well, call dibs on Stripe. I seem to enjoy this character a bit. Hmm. Hell, you wonder tits. Like, I enjoy playing this character despite the fact that I haven't, like, seen Gremlins before. You oh, of course somebody... Gremlins? I haven't seen it yet. Who the hell is the fourth player? Uh, bot. Yeah, okay. bot. Da, 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 da. I mean, to be fair, I've never seen the... Um, I haven't seen Gremlins aside from maybe some tidbits because Riley did show it to us at one point. It was good. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Also, Chill. just to shake things up a bit, maybe we can have some people from the chat join in. I don't care that. Yeah, if anybody's up for it. That's cool. Mind red bar still? Please say no. <laughs> My left stroke just went viral. <laughs> Eat, taste my claw, motherfucker. God damn it. Death. No. Death. Death. Let's see. Someone asked, "Can you name a character from a uh, show that was what a hero?" What the hell? Why did he double jump? I think it's because I probably. Oh no! Oh, rising, you motherfucker! So, <laughs> so someone asked, "Can you name a character from a show that was a hero but might have been better as the bad guy?" Um... <clears throat> huh? I'm not sure how to go about that. <clears throat> No. I don't know why, but I keep thinking of Starlight Glimmer. <laughs> I, I liked her role in the show. Yeah. Oh, Granted, thanks for I the assistance, like... Riley. <laughs> at, at best, I would have liked to see her more as an anti-hero of some sorts. Yeah, that would have been interesting. I would have loved to have seen that with, um, what's her name? Uh, Fizzlebot Berry Twist. Oh, that would have been interesting. Make her an anti yeah. villain Or anti-hero. I mean, they showed her in the last, uh... The the last, see, apparently I felt like I like like a part of me is frustrated but at the same time I completely understand um because like if they didn't want to risk like hiring a different actor to voice um getting tossed around like a goddamn tennis ball um the original voice actress for uh yeah because because she yeah. she was expensive to have for a character it's Emily yeah. Blunt yeah. yeah yeah Emily, Emily Blunt. Blunt's big <laughs> So, like, having, like, I'd, I, I'm not sure of whether or not they wanted to, um, like, replace the, um, replace an actor, uh, actress, uh, to get that or not. But apparently the character was just too expensive, which I can fully understand. So it's yeah. like, I, I was just, like, accepting that, yeah, it's probably not gonna happen. Ow! Rising! <laughs> Go have Wait, your fun time with somebody that? else! 
I mean, at okay. least they acknowledged her instead of just simply, like, ignoring her existence. Oh, I know. It's like, yeah, no, there, she, she's doing her own thing off time. It's like, oh, let's Bye, let's right, out. But then hearing that, oh, yeah, she's going to be too expensive. Like, you know what? That's true. As yeah. is, it was ex it was a lot of money to get, um... Fuck, dude, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Um, another character that would have been very interesting as a villain is, ironically enough, the Doctor oh, from Doctor shit. Who. Or at least... The the idea of what they were hinting at. <laughs> Bloody <they> had... pets. <laughs> Love you, lady. I'm literally putting down my switch from playing Pokemon to play this game. Oh, uh, you can right spare a few people. hours. Who's my that? In my internet's stable and ready. <laughs> <laughs> now I just want to see Solar versus Ryza. Dude, I want to see something with, like... Oh, press back. I would love to oh, see something God. with, like, Solar and Vlad. Like, I just... I, I want this to go out with a bang. Oh, God, yes. Just imagine the two of them having a screaming match. That'd be pretty funny, actually. That would be hilarious. Like Dragon Ball Z fight. Just constant screaming. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, suck it up! That's pretty impressive, Ryza. <laughs> yeah, Billy Bob, oh. Billy Bob Bot Jr. <coughs> Damn it! I'm gonna go get some dick. Right. If I could chug a Pepsi or my Pepsi a Sprite, be a lot louder. I don't, I, I don't know why, but for some reason, if there is a Solar versus Vlad fight, I want the mute, the awkward, the awkward music in the background to be um, Santeria by Subline. <laughs> Give me one second. I'm just is Santeria. Oh I'm god, like, like the song is like a it's got like that chill vibe, but the lyrics are so fucking brutal. It's literally about a guy saying I'm about to kill the guy who took my girlfriend away. And the song still ends with him being and married really with somebody. And he still wants to do it. Nope. Nope. And I got something for his punk ass. <laughs> I really want to know. Ow! Oh, I'm here. Oh, the story of some line is pretty depressing, though. Uh, there's, you know, I noticed that there's a lot of depressing stories with a lot of bands. Um, like, for instance, um, you know who Jim Blossoms is? Jim Blossoms sounds familiar. They're known for, um, they have a radio hit called Follow You Down, but there's like an earlier hit that has a gorgeous guitar sound called Found Out About You. Um, they're a guitarist had serious mental problems to the point where um in like 93 he ended himself oh poor kid. but yeah he had a really nice like guitar skills like it's not soloing or anything like that it's one of those type of uh, rhythm guitars and he just he had such a way of uh playing it like because if you like the song found out about you has got some gorgeous guitar work it, it, it kind of reminds me similar to what happened with um, <clears throat> with uh, Richie Edwards of um, Manic Street Preachers. Manic Street Preachers were a um, well, are a well known like sort of post punk band in the '90s <laughs> before eventually switching to Britpop. But when they first started off, they had a guy going after me. Even though Rise is the one who's like kicking all of our asses right now. <laughs> but um, Edwards was like, I know why because he's Velma. Oh, that's Jinkies! Jinkies! Oh, shit. But he was, um, he was their primary lyricalist, but the dude had a lot of issues as well. He, <laughs> he struggled with depression. He, um, he had a lot of, um, <laughs> up the yeah. Oh, and he had, um, he also was anorexic, which didn't make things better. Yeah. So when he, the last album he made, The Holy Bible, with Fuck. him was not only their most acclaimed work, but it was also the darkest. <laughs> Since it took a lot of inspiration from his issue, from the issues he had, Ow. his depression, his anorexia, his unfortunate reaction to visiting a Holocaust museum, a Holocaust oh, camp. Yeah. Ooh. And unfortunately, after the midway through the tour, he just disappeared. Literally disappeared. No one knows where he is, and, the, and at best, he was declared... In absentia, in, uh, um, <laughs> you motherfucker! You that distracted guy, uh, me, didn't you? You were saying the no. rises in the lead. He was at the time. 
I mean, at least he's. I mean, at least you guys. I are wasn't actually, lying. I have too All much right. of a one track mind. <laughs> hey, at least you actually beat Ryza. Yeah. See, what underrated Christmas movie special do you think deserves attention and why? Um. Ugh. Legend of Frosty the Snowman. I like that one still. That one's Murder. fun. That's underrated, I think. Oh, um, oh, and, and no. then also all of the other reindeer. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one. Was, all yeah, of that the one. other reindeer had a very interesting, like, you could tell that the style is very, very dated, but there is a charm behind it. There is a charm to it, yeah. I think they, I think what I also like is because um, Drew Barrymore voices um, Olive. Yeah, they and wanted... uh, Homer Simpson is the mailman. <laughs> Yeah. They wanted another reindeer. No, you idiot. They wanted all of the reindeer. Oh, the dog. All of the other reindeer. All of the other reindeer. It's a cute movie. I still like Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. I'm I haven't seen that like one, that. but it's like I can't imagine how brutally stupid it is. It's, 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 what it is. it's just a series of mishaps grandma's on Christmas do Eve. The pants off a of Santa. That's what Grandma's what gonna, gonna, gonna do. do. The law's on his side. The pants off for Santa. Grandma got uh, ran over by a reindeer. Welcome from our house from Christmas Eve. You, you can say you don't believe in Santa. But as for me and Grandpa, we believe. There is a Christmas song that I always find to be just... Just that the sheer fact that it's simple melody can be really badass if you work with it correctly. And that's Carol of the Bells. Oh, I love Carol the Bell. Because, oh, like, I mean, you hear it a lot, but, the, like, if you work with it, like, because some people have done their own arrangements to it where there's something serious going on with it, and it just, like, oh, it yeah. gets your attention. Um, like the one in, like, Home Alone or the Trans-Siberian Orchestra version. Oh, my God, I love Trans-Siberian Orchestra. I, I, oh, I, I love still them. love the one where they had the, the one, it's the one with all the Christmas lights. Oh god, yeah. I remember that. Also, let's not forget the regular show one. I haven't heard that one. Okay, so like Midway and because regular show did a Christmas special where I think that I, I forgot what happened to it, but they're basically trying to prevent this one <laughs> douchebag from trying to literally blow up Christmas. I'm sorry, and what? As, yeah, I mean it's regular show, what do you expect? <laughs> and so we have I'm tears. On, we I have can't tears. Get off of <laughs> and as they're falling down this pit holding onto the Christmas gift that's gonna blow everything up, or I think it's like a gift that Mordecai was gonna give Margaret because, of course, he would. And you just hear, dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. but it like gets more intense and more super. Oh, operatic. kiss my like, ass! I fucking hit him shit. first. You say that, and yet here I am. Wizards in winter. Whoa! Nope. I nice try, Riley. Oh, yeah, here, okay, yeah, here's, uh, someone explained that the plot is about an elf that, um, made We're a thing that could grant Monkey anybody's ass. wish. Oh, <laughs> now I remember that. That episode was very oh, shit. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, uh, shit. Ow. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit, what's in the bucket? I managed to save it. I managed to save it, boys. Oh, uh, why am I yelling so loud after being sick? Shit. You used to see regular shows Christmas special. Yeah, I like I I have HBO Max, so I can take a look at it. That's if you know Cartoon Network shows are still on HBO Max. So otherwise, I don't know where else to look. Ha! Huh. Would you like an apple pie with that? Oh no 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 no! Don't hit that fucking pit! Whoa! Wait, who I'm won? Dead. I did because I'm dead. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace. You, um, you literally die killing everybody else. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and Rick just goes, no, not Rick, but Morty goes to commit Sudoku. Oh, someone asked you, Golden, do you know them fighting hurts is available for PS4? Okay, so. That one you really need to stick. Uh layout for playing with because it's an old arcade fucking I game. I tried to play that game it's too frustrating. You need uh, the fighting sticks layout for that fucking game because it's just so hard. Wait, I, I grab it. I grab a controller. I did download it but I haven't gotten around to playing it. Oh Batman and Taz are still around. Um also you know in tribute 
Um, I did look up, look up <coughs> and yeah. if you do if you do choose Batman for the game, mm-hmm. he actually is voiced by Kevin Conroy. I'm yep. not surprised. Yeah, May the man rest. I May the man rest in peace. Man. I didn't even know he was gay until he died. How did I what? know Dude, that? I don't care yeah. that he was gay. I didn't know no, that, that he had cancer to begin with. I'm like, oh, no, fuck. I... No, I mean just the fact that I didn't even know that about him when he died. Like, Wait, he was gay. Okay, so I knew for a fact he had cancer, but I didn't know he was a homosexual. Yeah, he was like back before he became Batman. He was struggling in the industry because seventies and eighties being a gay man in Hollywood in that time. I so. am. Oh yeah, I'm. definitely. If you were gay, people would give you shit for just existing. Yeah, I am no, the just, no. I that kind like of shit ha- was so bad throughout God knows how many centuries, and it's nice that nowadays um, people are becoming much more open to you know what the sexual identities are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it says right here. In 2016, interview with the New York Times promoting the animated adaptation of The Killing Joke. 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 <laughs> Kevin Conroy like revealed killing that joke. he... Killing Joke. I'm going to remember killing that. Joke. <laughs> killing Joke. Kevin <laughs> Conroy revealed that he was gay. As part of the DC 22 Pride anthology, he wrote Finding Batman, a story that recounted his life experiences as a gay man. He was married to Vaughn C. Williams at the time of his death. Oh, and he made a he made a look. What the oh, fuck? Oh, oh, that's why he kept it concealed for a lo- for most of his career. Yeah, Hollywood and all that. He had been removed from consideration acting jobs due to his sexual orientation. <laughs> what the fuck? The man himself could act. Fuck that shit. Overall, you know. Rest in peace, Kevin. You fucking gave us an amazing childhood as Batman. You, no, like, Kevin Conroy's iteration of Batman has always been my favorite. Like, I think that's everyone's favorite because that's, that's just, that, that was pretty much the identity that people will always remember Batman as and not yeah. just, like, like, even compared to, uh, Michael Keaton and, um... Nolan's Batman. No, I remember the Nolan book. version. Everybody made jokes about it. I bet you. Yeah. Like, I think the reason why Kevin Conroy's Batman resonated so well with people was not only because that was the one we grew up with, but it was also the fact that his Batman was a perfect balance of what all the, the Batmans. Why am I in a, yeah. why was I in a bubble? <laughs> Me. Get over here. He was no able to shit. do he was able to do the serious Fuck. Batman, but he also knew when well, to okay. convey the best thing about Batman, which is that he's still a human. Yep. 